Hey, she was seven. I'm back. Okay, so I got permission from one of my viewers to share her story. I'm not going to use her name, but she said that I could share her story. So this client, well, she's not even, well, she's a client now, but um, she started watching my videos first and she was working in a bank and, you know, just, you know, working, you know, paying bills, living to pay bills. And she was like, watching my videos and she's like oh my god I deserve better and you know I don't just need to work to pay bills I you know I look good I can go out and get some a man to pay for my lifestyle so you know um <laughs> so she started you know looking on those millionaire websites you know the with millionaire dating websites and she actually met one and they were interested in her and um, she, you know, was talking to them back and forth online. Y'all, my hair is flat. I'm so sorry. She was talking to them back and forth online and, you know, being friendly, being nice. And she was just like, well, you know, I need him to prove himself to me. So let me ask for like a big amount of money and see if he'll, if he'll send it to me. And mind you, they have not met in person yet. Okay. Cause they don't live in the same state. So she asks him. To send her four thousand dollars right and so he says yeah I'll do it and give me your bank account and so of course she's paranoid she's like oh no he's trying to scam me but I still want that money so what she did was she went down to the bank and emptied out her bank account and then gave him you know her bank account number and routing number so that he could send her the money because she, she didn't believe you know just some random guy's gonna send her four thousand dollars and they haven't even met right so the next day the money's in the account okay she has four thousand dollars the next day okay so she's supposed to go and visit him but then she like blocked him and stopped calling him and <laughs> he didn't hear from her for a while right and then all of a sudden she's like oh my god you know i need some more money <laughs> so she contacted him again and he you know he was okay he was fine he was like so do you want to come visit you know this is like months and months later so she was like okay and uh, so he sent her some money before she came to visit again she came they you know she was coming from Florida and you know where he was it was cold so he had to take her shopping when she got there because she didn't bring any warm clothes and then took her somewhere I don't know what where did it take you skiing or something I don't I don't remember but somewhere we had to dress warm <laughs> and then um, she got uh, she asked him for like another amount of money but um, as before she left he like stuck a wad of cash in her purse and you know she was on her way out so she didn't even count it and when she got to the airport you know she's counting it and it was only half of what she asked for so she got mad and she was like he didn't even give me all everything I asked for and blah 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 and so um she was wondering you know why did he do that so I was telling her well he wants you to come back he wants you to call for that other half you know he wants to see you again so he shorted you on purpose so that you know you will become emotionally involved and upset with him so that y'all could go back and forth and then he can apologize and then you can make up and then you can come back and he can give you more okay this is what guys do with money okay they don't always give you everything at the same time. They make you a little work for it a little bit. Okay, ladies? So um, that was his way of ensuring that she would return or at least call him when she got home, you know? <laughs> Let me short her a couple thousand, you know? So that's why I told her next time, double the amount that you want, and that way you get exactly what you need. Like, say, oh, I want $6,000 when you only want $3,000, and he's going to give you $3,000, and you still got it. You know what I'm saying? So you always double the amount that you really need and see what happens, okay? Um, <laughs> don't just go for the bare minimum. Go for double. If you go for double, if you get half, then you got what you wanted, right? So, um... <laughs> I always laugh because I think it's hilarious. Uh, of course, he's old, old dude. She said he was old and not super attractive, but, you know, she didn't have to work. You know, she, she could just go travel around and get money from him all the time. So, and then she started seeing another guy who owned a nightclub, and she's trying to get him, you know, to invest in her seriously, like, 
date and stuff like that because that, that's someone that she is attracted to and that does have money so um, I, I was like instructing her on how to you know get with him get her him to buy her stuff and things like that um, those type of men like to feel like they're needed like they're smart like they're teaching you something so or you know their opinion is appreciated or you know they have something like for example if you want some guy to take you shopping that's not you know that you just don't want to come out and ask you say oh you know I really like the um, those shoes you have on or that watch you have on or that wallet you have or that belt that you have where did you get it uh, or you know uh, or you know I saw something that I really like and uh, do you know anybody that works at this store you know do you get like a little discount because I see that you shop there too you know like Gucci or something like that do you do you know anyone that works at the Louis Vuitton store or the Gucci store um, you know and I'll be like yeah you know I know such and such you know salesperson oh well could you ask do you get like any discounts or anything do you get any specials in your name and he'll be like why it's because there's this purse that I want and I don't want to wait you know to get it and you know it's a little expensive so I was just wondering if you had any hookups or connections in the Gucci store and he'll be like oh well let me see what I can do and then he'll be like well let's you know if he doesn't say well let's go see or let's go see the purse you want or you know um, if he doesn't ask how much the purse is like if he's willing to give you the money for it uh, or the rest of the money for it uh, <laughs> he'll he'll um, He'll either blow you off and say, oh, no, I don't have any connections, sorry, if he doesn't want to, you know, buy things for you. But if he does want to buy things for you and, you know, he's trying to be the hero and save the day, then he's going to offer to go up there with you and pay for it or he's going to give you the money for it, okay? <laughs> and then say, tell them some so-and-so sent you, okay? So that's what he's going to do. Um, now, there's this other guy. She said he had money, but, and she asked him for money for a purse. This, this is a different guy. And he said no, he wouldn't give it to her. And I was like, well, some guys are practical. Like, he he probably would have given you the money if it was for something else. Like, for example, your car needed work or you needed new tires or something like that. He would have stepped in and been the hero to impress you and say, oh, look, look at me, I'm the hero. Uh, I can I can help a damsel in distress, you know. But a purse is like, it seems like you're gold digging on them and that he's not. He doesn't want to be used for purses you know what I'm saying y'all it's, it's it's uh telemarketers oh god I hate them um and it's not even a person it's a recording anyway so if a guy thinks that you know you're trying to get money out of them for a purse they're probably gonna say no but if they think they're helping you fix your car get some tires you know help you out like um you see them as a hero they're more likely to do it so if you want a purse and you know this kind of guy is very practical, you got to lie and say you need some new tires or you need a part for your car, okay? And make sure you go and research first and make sure that it adds up because you know if he's that type of guy, he's going to go look online and say, okay, this is how much they are, this is how much I'm going to give you, blah, 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 right? So go do your research first, ladies. Make sure if you um, drive, you know, a nice car, make sure you look at the price of the tires and then add up add them up and see if it equals up to the purse that you want okay <laughs> so he's gonna give you the money you know um, and if he says well I, you need to go to this place or that place say my car's already there and they've done the work and so they're just waiting you know uh, for me to bring the money up there you know uh, or they're waiting for me to pay so could you put it in my account because I've already given them my credit card number but I don't have the money in there to pay so now he has to either put it in your account or give you cash so you can go put it in your account. Um, and really, you're just going to go into the store and buy the purse you want, okay? And then just go get some tire uh, tire shine and like make it look like you have new tires, okay? Or just tell him that, you know, you've been driving around and maybe you bought used tires. I don't know. But y'all have figured out. Just... <laughs> use your brain okay um so i know a lot of people will get mad and say oh you don't need to do that to people but you know if there are certain women who are going to do this to guys and guys are willing to pay for them then that's not a problem you know i always tell people 
the guys who are most offended are not even targets. You know what I'm saying? Um, the men who are most offended uh, about these situations and videos, no one is trying to get, you know, three, four thousand dollars out of you. Okay, so you don't have to be upset. Okay, because they're not a problem for you. Okay, these are guys that have lots of money that that will throw it away on anything. Like a thousand dollars to them is like ten dollars. Okay. So if a thousand dollars is like ten dollars to you, then you're probably not upset. You're probably like, oh, that's just nothing, you know. Um, but if a thousand dollars is a thousand dollars to you, then of course it's gonna be like, oh, that's terrible. But to these guys who make a lot of money, it's not a lot of money. You know what I mean? So it's just like you know, shopping at Target. Uh, you know, so don't. Don't get upset if you're offended by those women because you're not a target and you're not going to be a victim anytime soon because you don't have the type of money that they even want, okay? <laughs> now, if you're a millionaire watching this, which I doubt, and you're probably laughing. You're probably laughing and saying, yep, I've done that about 20 times. I've done put five girls through school and, you know, I've done my good deed for society. Uh, <laughs> So remember, real ballers, real guys with lots of money, not not no six figures, but I'm talking about high, you know, seven figures and up, okay? Those type of guys, they don't mind, okay? They really don't, and it's not even a problem. They don't like that guy that sent her $4,000. He didn't care that she blocked him. I mean, she, as soon as she called, he was like, okay, come on, you know? So I feel like... If you're able to do that and benefit from it and not have to work and just live the lifestyle until you find someone to settle down with, then go ahead and go for it. If you are looking for both love and all, you know, a millionaire, that's going to take a little longer. But in the meantime, you know, you can be practicing. Um, and sometimes you're not going to get love and a millionaire. You might have to get love and someone who makes six figures. But still, you're going to still have a good lifestyle because you won't have to work and you won't have to do all those things that someone that makes less money will do, okay? So sometimes you're going to have to make a sacrifice. You know, you know, you don't want to be with some guy that you're not really into that much and you know he's probably not going to marry you anyway because he got all these millions he doesn't want to lose. So you go for a guy with a high six-figure salary if you want to settle down, have a family and kids and stuff like that. Um, and that's easier and you know eventually that he could become a millionaire if he's making high six figures You know if he keeps working in his career. He will eventually be a millionaire. You know what I'm saying? So um, y'all think about things like that and You know if you're uh, there are some women on here on this um, Channel who who don't understand this, you know what what it's all about they're like, oh, we should just marry for love and be good woman and Okay, this is a miracle. <laughs> this is a America. Okay, everything in America is based on money. Okay, sad to say, but it is. Everything in America is based on money. We don't have all those strict rules that other countries do when it comes to marriage and relationship and stuff like that. We uh, are free to kind of pick and choose who we want, how we want to marry, what reasons we want to marry. And what type of guys we want to deal with okay as women we have that freedom and that right okay um, so you know we've already had boyfriends and true loves and loves and first loves like we're not virgins when we get married we're like you know experienced women that know what they want and know what it's worth so a lot of you girls who are commenting from other countries y'all have to understand the American culture we are not virgins when we get married we have many partners until we get married. Um, <laughs> you know, we get to pick and choose who we want or, you know, or settle for whoever wants us, depending on, you know, how we think. But most women want to live comfortably, have a husband that makes good money so they can, you know, live a good life. It's not about, you know, uh, <laughs> what you guys are thinking it's about because, um, for example, if I were to marry as a virgin, I would never have experienced other guys. And I would always be curious and I would want to go figure it out. And I'm like, ooh, he looks like, he looks interesting. I would be more likely to cheat 
because I've never experienced another person. You know, and that's what happens in a lot of these marriages. These men get bored with that woman and they want to go cheat because they've never had another woman. You know, and then they'll just up and leave and go to a foreign country where they can just do everything they want with women with no consequence. You know what I'm saying? So y'all got to remember that um, American culture is very different than, you know, other cultures that uh, have, you know, stricter rules. So um, be careful. OK, uh, I know like in um, my I know someone who uh, was just arrested in Dubai, uh, but she, I think she was arrested for some other reason. But I was reading online that if you kiss in public or, you know, you have some type of um, body language that's not appropriate, if you have premarital sex, uh, you can get arrested over there. So their rules are very strict over there. I'm like, oh, no, I can never go there. I can never go there. Like, I mean, I probably could because like, but not as a young girl, like as an old, as an old person right now. Yeah, I could, I could be fine over there. Um, but when I was younger, I would have got arrested or something, but <laughs> I could not go over there. Um, not as a young girl, I could probably go over there now because, you know, <laughs> you know, I've done, been, been there and done everything. Right. Um, so I feel like, you know, if whatever your preference is, that's fine. You shouldn't be ashamed of it and you shouldn't put others down for what they want in life. Okay. If you want a hard working man that you got to struggle with and build up and help and you know, whatever that's, that's, you go for that. Okay. But if you want someone to take care of you, to meet your every need and want, uh, allow you to stay home, raise your kids properly, then, and, and you know, and go shopping, then, Hey, go for that. If you want something in between, go for that. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't let anyone l tell you what you're supposed to do. Okay. You can listen to all these videos, get tips and tricks and all that stuff and still use them on your man who makes five figures. You know, it doesn't matter as long as you're happy, as long as you're happy in your life, that's all that matters. You know, I'm just trying to help people because, um, there are women out there who have what it takes to get th these certain things and they just don't have the instruction. Okay. So I'm trying to help them. I've had many success stories, many people get married, many people meet millionaires, many people, you know, uh, get into relationships with wealthy men because they watch this channel, okay? Um, and I've helped them, I've, I've done consultations with them, I've told them what to do and they've done it and it works. So, um, you know, it is, you know, it is very possible. Uh, and a lot of you, a lot of women who live in certain states and cities are going to have harder times finding what they want versus women that don't live in certain states or certain cities. You know what I mean? Like, for example, if you live in L.A., there's a lot of competition there. Everyone's got plastic surgery. Everyone's beautiful. Everyone's trying to be a movie star, you know. But if you come to another state where, you know, no, hardly anyone has plastic surgery or, you know, is trying to be perfect and eat right so they can be on screen, you're going to not have as much competition, okay? And you're going to meet guys with money. You're going to stand out because, you know, you you're, you look good uh, and you don't have a bunch of, you know, fake people around you trying to compete. You know what I'm saying? So if you um, are trying to find, you know, this fairy tale love and you're around a bunch of other princesses, it's not going to work out. You know what I'm saying? So move or... You know, go out of town when you are looking for dates or date men who live out of town and then move out there, you know. Um, so, yeah, like you go to, um, you know, New York or L.A. or Miami, you're going to have a hard time. You come to other states, you know, southern states, midwestern states, you know, stuff like that. It's going to be easy for you. OK, uh, a lot of people who come from other countries or move out of their state and they think, oh, I'm going to meet a millionaire. I'm going to go to California. I'm going to go to LA. I'm going to go to Beverly Hills. I'm going to go to New York. I'm going to go to Miami. But they forgot everybody else is going there too. Okay. So why would you go there? You got lots of competition, you know? <laughs> um, so try to find a city or something or stay in your own town or something. You would probably be better, you know, have less competition, you know? So, yeah, I'm, I'm dressed up like mom today. I have to go to a school play. <laughs> so I have to look appropriate. 
covered up and got the hair tamed and um, neutral makeup on so I can um, be it with the other moms. <laughs> okay. See, uh, I have to play the I have to play the role when I go out. Okay. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see y'all on my next video. If y'all have any questions, put them in the comments. And um, I will see y'all on Friday. I'm going live at 12 noon Friday. Between 12 and 1. Okay, so just keep looking out. Click the bell on the thing. And you'll get a notification when I come on, when I do release a video or when I'm live. It'll just ding on your phone and you'll be like, oh my God, I gotta go. You know, I gotta go watch this video. So, <laughs> yeah, click the bell and then every time I make something, put something out or go live, you'll get a notification through your phone, okay? And I gotta go do something with this flat hair because I'm not feeling it, okay? I just, I don't know, I don't know. All right, I'll see you later. Bye!